Good morning. Today is Monday, May 4th. Happy May! We are in the last month of school. Isn't that crazy? This year flew by. Whew. All right. Before listening to the rest of the video, I would like you to go listen to the ED ending song. We've listened to it before in class. There's a couple of them. And so this week we're just going to be reviewing that. Now, if you remember when we use ED at the ending of a word, it's something that happened in the past. And it could have happened a few minutes ago, this morning, last night, yesterday, last month, as long as it happened in the past. Now, ED can make three sounds. If you remember, it makes ed, d, and t. This week, we're going to be practicing uh, figuring out which ending sound our words have. So, I have three words. Let's sound them out. O, a, k, lock, sp, sp, e, o, Bill and oh look I see a vowel pair when two vowels go oh, when two vowels go walking the first one does the talking so the a comes first so the a will say a and the i will say nothing P a -nt. paint now I'm going to add ed to the end of each of these words and you're going to help me figure out if it's the ed d or t sound I'm also going to write it in a different color so it stands out because I'm adding it to the end. So we have lock and then ed. Is it lock ed, lock d, or lock t? You're right, it makes the t sound. Lock t. Let's see. Now I'm going to add ed to the ending of spill. So I have spill and then ed. Is it spill ed? Spilled or spilt. It's spilled with the d sound. And then I'm going to add ed to paint. So I have paint and then ed. Is it painted? Paint d or paint t? It's painted. So I gave you three examples of the difference. Um, ending sounds. Paint ed, ed, spilled, d, and locked, t. So we're going to be working with those this week. Speaking of things that happened in the past, I would like you to think of something that you did maybe this morning or last night or yesterday. Ooh, come on. You got to get down. Good girl. <laughs> and write about it. I want you to try to find words that you can add ed to the ending of to show that you did it in the past. Now, if you can see, I drew me, Rue, Callie, and a ball. My sentences say, I played ball with Callie and Rue last night. It was fun. They liked it. So if you can see, I use played, so the ed at the end of play makes the d sound, and liked, and that makes the t sound. I also made sure to follow my five-star rubric. I started with a capital letter. I used my finger spaces. I ended with a period. I used neat handwriting, and I made sure it made sense. So, may, so today in writing, you are going to write about something that you did in the past. I have some new popcorn words this week. I don't believe we've done them yet. They are review, so you should know them. And one of them will not be a popcorn word, but we use it a lot, so I figured I'd add it in there. So the first one, F-U-N-N-Y. Funny. Sometimes Rue can be pretty funny, like just now when she tried to get a goldfish cracker off the table. H-E-L-P. Help. Sometimes I need help. 
J U M P. Jump. I can jump from side to side. F I N D. Find. Can you find the word find? And this is the one that is not one of our popcorn words, but we use it a lot. And I found that a lot of you would ask me how to, to spell it. And we did learn the song for this word. It's B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Because, remember, because I said so. That song, a silly song. So those are the words I want you to practice this week. You can make, unless you already know them, then you can practice other words. If you are choosing new words, um, have your parent try to help you with the spelling and then write them on flashcards and then you can do the rainbow right. That is all I have for this morning's morning message. Don't forget you are writing about something that you did in the past and I will talk to you later. Bye.